Prime 4's performance pads offer creative control over playback of your music. Press the hot cue button and you can trigger and jump to a different section of your track. These hot cues can be added beforehand in Engine Prime or live as you play by tapping one of the eight hot cue pads at the desired point. The cue point will be added in timing response to the quantize setting you have in your user preferences. Quantize can be momentarily turned off for non-quantized performance by tapping the central arrow at the bottom of the touchscreen and tapping the quantize icon to off. To delete a hot cue, hold shift and press the relevant pad. Pressing the loop select button brings the eight pads into the saved loop mode. Each pad can hold a region of any length up to 64 beats. Tap a pad to enter the loop start point and then again for the loop out point. The pad will blink to show that the loop region is active. Press it again to release the loop, indicated by a static pad light. You can also transfer an auto loop selection to a save pad by pressing an unused loop region pad. To delete a save loop, press shift and the required pad. A secondary press of the loop mode gives you auto loop, a selection of predefined loop length options. The roll pads offer a selection of predefined beat trigger phrases. The green pads representing straight time and the purple pads triplet time beat rolls. Note that the playing track goes into auto slip mode playback when in this roll mode. Pressing the slicer button once, lighting blue, enter slicer mode which cuts the playing track into single beat focus. This first mode follows the track timeline continuously. Slice beats can be triggered per pad and the repeat timings halved or doubled by pressing the parameter buttons. Pressing the slicer button again, this time illuminating green, has all the same performance functionality, but engages a two bar repeated loop in the timeline. In the next video, we look at beat grid editing.